Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I am joined by a few members of the Huntress team. Now, me and Kyle have done a few videos before, but you know, there's more than just Kyle, and there's well, actually, in the last couple of years, what do you have? You're up to like 120 people now, I think. Is that that number? Yeah, right? yeah the growth has been crazy. Uh, hackers are going to hack, so Huntress has got to hunt with a little more people. Yeah, so uh, the Shady Hacker team has grown from a few people when I was there uh, and now to 120 uh, people. One of the reasons that I met Huntress and before we've ever used their product, I had cited in some of my videos when diving into some research about security incident happened, Huntress has really thorough write-ups and they support a lot of community engagement, not just writing it up as a news article, but actually telling you how to protect yourself. And they don't pitch it as just their product. Like that's not how they pitch it. It's like, here's the action steps to do it. And actually I see in the corner of Kyle, it says hack it 2021. That's another event that uh, I've talked about and I've participated in the previous one before as well. So there's a lot of stuff that they do. So I wanted to have them on the channel, talk about some cool things and some upcoming things we're going to be doing with the team over at Huntress and uh, welcome. I'm going to no, kick it off, Kyle, and tell me what, what yeah, happened. Stoked to obviously come on, hang, uh, and, and you kind of nailed it. At my end, with the company scaling, I had to bring in some, some other big guns. So joining me today is Dina, who's coming over on. She was part of the Source Fire acquisition from Cisco, led a lot of the next-gen firewall, and she's taken over as all of our product and engineering. What's really exciting, though, is she's also scaled her own team. And so she just recently pulled Ed on over from the Carbon Black VMware team, who's leading all the product efforts underneath her. So kind of got some heavy hitters joining me uh, today to BS. And, you know, maybe to start with just a big thanks to the community. I mean, you kind of touched it. We generally speaking, we educate sincerely as one of the big core values at Huntress to make sure like, look, we're listening. What do people need and actually providing what people want? And oftentimes that's education. Help me level up from an IT practitioner to a security practitioner. So I think part of what we're doing today is showing you a little bit of behind the scenes, what we've been doing, what we've been listening and where we're going to go. So curious where you want to go, Tom. Well, let's talk about, we'll do, do a little bit of an announcement because I'm on part of the Huntress Insiders and I got to preview a few things. We'll talk about a couple of the new things that are being added to Huntress. And don't worry, we won't spend too much time, you know, droning about it. We'll actually have some planned product demos we're going to uh, do. That's going to be future video stuff. So it's a little foreshadowing, but go ahead and uh, tell us about that. Some of these new features has got like the managed stuff. Yeah, yeah Dina, I, I mean, it's your yeah. team. You want to take her away? Yeah, I would love to talk about it. So we've got uh, some really big announcements. So first and foremost is our managed AV. It's been in beta for a few months now. So it's going to go GA. So it's our ability to actually manage the defender that comes free with your system. So no additional costs. We go ahead and manage the defender. We provide the visibility, the controls, be able to do scans. And then we actually will do full up incident response and remediation for you on that behalf. The second thing that's really excited, really been asked for for a long time for our customers is the ability to do host isolation. So if you get some sort of notice that there is an attack underway, ransomware or something along those lines or managed AV uh, you know, indicator comes up, that we you can isolate the host either manually or our threat ops team can automatically do it for you. Very exciting. But what's most exciting is 24, 24 by seven um, threat up support that's coming. So we're going to use a follow the sun model so that it's not just somebody staying up all night or people work on weekend shifts and, and, and from that perspective, but we're going to be able to staff it um, in Australia and the UK. Really excited about that. So super exciting things, uh, but coming soon. So the announcement's going to be October 12th, lots of things coming, but there's even some more super exciting things coming in Q1. Um, maybe, maybe Ed could talk a little bit about, you know, just give a little bit of a you know, indicator of what's coming in Q1 of 2022. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the the managed AV stuff, I mean, most of the customers, you know, outside of Hunters, they're going to be running some sort of AV products, something we saw time and again uh, in the enterprise world. And I know Kyle's seen it with uh, Hunters here, but attackers, they're not just going to come in and, and give up after being hit by an AV product one time. They're going to drop a binary, drop a binary, drop a binary. They're going to keep coming back until they get access. So managed AV stuff is exciting. The new stuff around, you know, collecting more telemetry on behalf of our customers to power uh, insights for our threat ops team uh, at a process and network level is going to allow us to understand what's happening as the attackers are dropping those binaries and, and catch their other tactics and techniques as well along the way. So I think a lot of cool stuff coming. And Tom, you mentioned the videos already. Like uh, one of the things that we love, like one of the things that I love coming onto the team is understanding how our threat ops teams work. So 
we'd love to do some more kind of deep dives with you on your channel, uh, expose that to, to the community at large. Yeah, I think this is something, you know, it's all mystery. And then too many companies just slap the word and you won't find this at Huntress. They just slap the word. We just have magic AI that solves all the problems. Huntress is a very realistic company. And Kyle's laughing because I know he's like, no, I don't like hearing that. I don't, they've avoided that in their marketing because they're like, look, they filter everything. So the Thrones teams has a really high signal noise ratio. So that if they have something, they're understanding it. And humans, very intelligent humans are looking at these things. But of course, what you want to know and what I want to kind of reveal is how they look at it. And, you know, the industry, I mean, what do you think, Kyle? Is there a little bit of a deficit industry? Of more, we need more people in security, right? You, you know, what's crazy is sometimes we have the people in security, but maybe not even the efficiencies. Like, believe it or not, the number one thing I would get from a lot of our partners was, you know, I would find out after the third time that Mimi Cats or somebody was trying to dump credentials out of memory, it blocked, but I wouldn't find that out till later because I didn't have the automation to get a human to quickly respond because they'll eventually, as you mentioned, whatever the antivirus and disable it if they escalated privileges and go through there. Uh, the other one that was killing me too about that security deficit was, Sometimes you're following the instructions of like your vendor products, go add these exclusions, but then you like exclude a whole directory. And of course, the first thing I would do is the shady hacker would be look up your exclusions and then put my malware inside your excluded directory so you wouldn't catch me. So managed for us and helping our partners manage that existing antivirus product is, uh, is a big deal because it's just that like extra kind of like who watches the watchman being able to say like, ooh, something's bad going down. And I don't think we would have been able to come up with it without our partners saying, look, this is where I struggle. So it's kind of like listening and learning. Uh, but the other piece, Tom, and I'm super curious if you've been catching up like on Reddit or any of the other news sources as well. Uh, this big announcement for us is also about vision. And I just can't tell you like right now of how many times I look and I say, why is this traditional vendor that's been there? I always think of the Microsofts or somebody like that yeah. of 10,000 different SKUs to pick and choose from or pricing that's impossible to understand or just price raises for the sake of price raises, right? Um, I mean, are you seeing some of that similar nonsense that I'm seeing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you spend any time in any of the MSP forums uh, crying about the latest the uh, you know bait and switch of the contracts is definitely a uh, problem. It's a hot topic, and you know I you I, one of the things that you guys have done is lead by example because we are officially resellers for several different products. But of, of those products, Hunter is one of the easiest ones because there's not that many SKUs. It's just a simplicity of it. And even myself, I've my whole part of my ethos on being YouTube is all these. Uh, open source solutions or different solutions, like there's not a problem. Challenge the tradition a little bit. You don't you have to be shady and come up with weird ways of doing it or slip in, you know, uh, a one year to a three year agreement and say, oh, no, we, we sent you an update on that somewhere buried in your announcement emails. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, tried, I know. Uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead, Kyle. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, Dina, you, you've probably seen this, I guess, you and Ed both coming from enterprise world where that's maybe a little yeah. bit more typical, but, you okay. know, in the mid market SMB you got to understand what your partners and your customers actually want. And nobody wants to be forcibly upgraded to a three-year contract without knowing it, right? Just because it auto renewed. So what were you saying though? Yeah, I was just say, I, I, you know, there's, there's certain things, you know, we're coming on board that, you know, the Huntress, it's really about the Huntress way and the Huntress vision. And one of them is to keep it simple for our customers and to actually, and really provide value to them. And, and we, so we've done, you know, very purposeful about keeping our SKUs simple and, and easy to consume for our customers. The last thing we want is for them to, you know, get ransomware or Mimi cats or whatever the case may be and say, well, if you had just had this SKU, you would have been protected. And so that's been, you know, the founders have, it's really important to them to make sure that, you know, it's, it's all in from that capability and they're, and they're protected and they don't have to wonder, do I have the right SKU? And you see that sometimes with, with the attacks, like, um, you know, when some of the attacks happened over the summer, it was, well, did this, did this product stop it? Did this product not stop it? Well, you would have been protected if you only upgraded to the newest, yeah. latest yeah. and greatest. Right. right. All right. Or just like, there's 10 different SKUs. Which one did I need to be protected for that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That creates a lot of confusion. And, you know, the, the elephant in the room is obviously, like you said, Microsoft doing these things when you find out that you need, oh, you need the E5 license to enable that enhanced security feature you thought you had when you bought the regular license. It's like, well, aren't we paying enough? Oh, no, you're not. And by the way, next year, we're going to pay a lot more for it. So, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. And this is where I literally like Huntress. You guys are challenging the market going, you know, turns out you can be a profitable company, a successful company with a big team and not uh, do shady things to your customers. The only thing you guys do is do shady things to the hackers out there and the threat actors. <laughs>
you're always tripping so, them up. <laughs> uh, on that uh, on that note, right? I mean, we just recently raised that forty million dollar minority venture capital round, and a lot of people have been asking me, Tom, like, where are you going to spend forty million bucks? And I was like, well, I actually got more than forty. That was just to add to the war chest. And you heard the R and D that we're doing. You heard listening to people. Obviously, you touched on like the conferences, the education. We're obviously going to double and triple down on that. But maybe Tom, maybe the one of you know the coolest things I could share here with you and your your audience is. We're going to pour about a hundred grand into contributions to really help uh, encourage folks who look and hunt for bug bounty side of the house. And that's not just only on the hunter's side. That's really going to encourage and incentivize folks to kind of rise, the, you know, raise the tide of all boats and all ships when it comes to our security vendors products. So we'll uh, we'll make sure you get the first heads up on how this hundred thousand dollars is going to work, where we're going to put it, how we're going to try to do the best to uh, find some of these low hanging vulnerabilities in other SMB products like ours and others. And I think that's what's important that you said there. And I want to reiterate that. And others, you're not just setting up a bug bounty, like for finding a bug in your product, but for products. And I think that's, that really just shows the community commitment and why we're sitting around having this conversation, because this is a challenge some people have. We've already heard some of the bug reports with some of the other companies. Of, they don't even want to pay bugs for their stuff, but you're going, hey, we want to actually help community products in the IT space. And I think that's just really awesome. And I'm excited about that. Yeah, Google, you know, Project Zero can do the equivalent for the enterprise. Why couldn't we step up in that space and be able to encourage folks to get these bugs not only out there patched, but also quickly, you know, remediated? That's the other part of it. It's not enough just to know that you have a bug. You yeah. got to get it deployed. So, uh, you know, cool things to come. And I, I have a feeling perhaps you guys aren't afraid of calling someone out when you tell them there's a bug and they maybe don't remediate it. We'll just... <laughs> <laughs> you We've know, been known once that, or so. twice to uh, ask politely, and the third time, uh, usually it's a Reddit post. Uh, so, yes, you guys are not afraid to do a full write up on Reddit and, uh, you know, do blog posts and uh, really usually make sure a proof of concept video of the exploit in action. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we have, uh, there's stuff that's still under NDA to me, and you've talked about <laughs> we, this is fun. So, I'm excited when more of this comes out. <laughs> Well, this is, well, huge awesome. thanks, dude. I, you know, for having us, let me introduce a little bit more of the team. And obviously, we'll continue working on some of that behind the scenes content, sharing it with your community. Yeah, I'm excited when we start diving deep. We're going to get deep in the weeds in future videos and we'll uh, show what a real threat ops person does, demystify it because it's something I think more people need to get into this industry. I'll be excited as they do. And uh, it's just, it's not, it, it, we use a lot of big words and when you watch those hack at things, but once you break it down, you're like, okay, you can do this. You can train and get in it. And uh, I'm excited to start sharing that with people. So thanks for joining me. This was awesome. And uh, I'll leave links below some of the previous Huntress videos I did and things like that for those of you that are just coming here and weren't familiar with the product. I got some good breakdowns on it. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Look forward to doing the, uh, uh, the additional videos. All right. Take care. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store, where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.